This is a rare occurrence right now. All three dogs are in here. Hi, Maddie. Maddie likes to scratch because she likes to. Come here, Maddie. Come see me. And then Hope and Sully. Um, it's already 12.40, but um, I didn't vlog this morning because I needed to shower and I was in my same clothes as I was yesterday um, until about 15 minutes ago. <gasps> Maddie, what are you doing? You're so fun. You having fun? Oh, the doggies. For those who don't know, Maddie is about nine. I think nine or ten. Um, we got her in November 2008, and I was in sixth grade. Nobody better have made, made a mess in here. Excuse me. Hey, can I talk to you? Can I have that? Because we were playing with your Sonoma dragon, and you were doing great, and then. You ran away with it, and then I told you to come, and then you didn't. Hey. Stinky feet. Smell. What is it? Chicken feet? Smell my feet? Give me. Oh, trick or treat. Smell. Huh, oh, that's funny. Trick or treat, smell my feet, give me something good to eat. <laughs> Hope, what do you want to be for Halloween? Not that I'm going anywhere, but it might be kind of cool to dress you up. It might be kind of cool. I see that tail wagon. I see that tail wagon. Wagon, wagon, wagon. Ooh, big nose. Big nose. Hey. Excuse me, you cannot have that because we don't know item retrieval yet. Because you're not cool like your friend Sonoma, where I can just say, Hey, get my slippers, huh? Not that I even wear slippers, but maybe one day. <gasps> what are you doing? Hi, Sunny! Hopey! Hope, please. <gasps> Good job! chairs here. Come here, Maddie. Hey, Sunny. Big tongue. Guys, look how big she looks compared to all of them. Whoop. Easy. Oh, come. Whoa. Come on. All right, let me turn the power off. No, it's just, huh? Whoa. I think it's just human. Everything's wet. Ah, Jesus. Get, just go play. Let's go. It's like being out with your kids and they still want to sit on your lap. Go, go get her. Hope, go get her. Go get her. She wouldn't have the seeds go, get stuck in her hair, I bet. Yeah, because she's short. Watch out, Hope Flag. The flag's not there. No. It's in the woods. Easy. Hope, over here. Come on. Good girl. That's better. Boring. No, Drink. They only want to play like on each other's terms. I hate. I have to tell you though, they were running like crazy. Oh, when you first, when they first, when first Emily, let me see you do this. Do what? 
This chair. I don't know anything about it. The foot? What? Well, guys, if you've been watching for a little bit, you'll remember, like, Hold on, she's being really cute. Hope, come Ugh. Really? Hope, come here. Hi, guys. Um, happy Sunday. Well, it's actually almost Monday now. Um, it's like nine something. 9.33. Um, good morning, guys. It's like, hold on, let me see what time it is. It is, um, eight o'clock or something, I think. I'll, I'll play with your dragon with you. Guys, I swear, this dragon unicorn thing that Cassidy got, um, Hope, has been, like, her favorite thing. So that's really good to see, because... Hope, come here! Come here, Hope! Alright, it is Monday, 804, uh... September 17th, and I'm going to combine today with the weekend because I didn't really get that much footage. Um, I think it's because, like, people are home on the weekends, and there's, like, you know, people for me to um, talk to. Like, I hung out with Cassidy a little bit, and, you know, we talked about how she was watching Elf, and that was a really good movie, and then, like, my mom is home more, um, on the weekends than during the week, and so, you know, I just try to, like, soak up time with the people who, you know, mean a lot to me. Anyways, but now we're back. Ha, Hope. And that's Sally playing with, um, one of the bones that we have, because they all share, like I said. Because that's, you know, one of the things that you got to do when you have multiple dogs in a household. Is you got to share things, huh? Um, what else? What did, what did we do yesterday? Oh, basically the main thing that we did was you saw that um, there was another dog um, here, and that dog is my cousin's dog, who is from, um, Texas. She was rescued from, I believe, a shelter or something in Texas during Hurricane Harvey, um, because my cousin is a, uh, volunteer, um, firefighter and or yeah something like that and they went down to help during the time and he came back with a dog basically um so that's that dog um they did really well together the, um, the girls did and uh I like that because you know I know that I mean even though I don't know everything about the dog like the history obviously you know she's a good dog and I would you know trust her around hope and stuff um and it's good for hope because it's you know it's challenging for me to get out by myself to do things so people coming here is great um for me to uh be able to socialize my dog um and like I said we start training this week I mean, we've always been training, and I've always been doing the best I can to uh, do um, things. 
but we are starting another class this weekend. Actually, it's Saturday at like 2.30, so I'm really excited about that. Um, I mean, I'm kind of nervous too at the same time, and it's not for the fact that, you know, like, Hope might not know everything, or Hope might not, you know, whatever. I think it's just, like, the fact that, like, I, this time, want to take a more, like, role with this class. Like, a more involved role. Um, because, like, the, the last class, like, we, we, um, like, me and my mom did together when that class was at PetSmart, like, um, when walking around, like, it's, it was a store, so, like, you know, it was hard for me to walk, or not walk, but roll and handle the leash at the same time and not try to run into people and not try to knock things over on the, you know what I mean? So, so I think this one will be different only because it's at an actual what training place which I'm hoping to it to be different and then I'm actually hoping to to do more of like the hands-on stuff and then my mom will just be off to the side to help me if I need help honestly I thought about having her wait in the car for for the hour but like if I ever dropped something like such as a treat or if I dropped the entire bag of treats like I don't know if I would be comfortable with asking, you know, strangers to help. Um, it's, just, it's just like finding that balance, you know what I mean? Like, I think it's great that I can let Hope out now to uh, go to the bathroom because of her collar that she, she wears. Um, but it's just a lot, you know? Um, and that's probably one of the things I didn't think about before getting a dog is that like there is some things that I can't do but there's a lot of things that I can offer the dog and stuff um for now I'm just gonna go play with her and her dragon or at least try to get her to play uh because she kind of like mellows out at this time, but like I'm awake right now. I'm not that I'm awake right now, but like I'm up right now. So I'd like to get her to play. And she's also going to the groomer today. Um, not exactly sure what they're gonna do because she went the weekend of my sister's bridal shower and that was like a month or so ago so maybe they're just gonna brush her out and trim a little bit and def definitely do her nails um because they're getting a little long I mean I wish that I could learn how to do them myself but even even, even still I don't know if I trust myself to do it um and uh she also went on a walk on Saturday um, I didn't go my mom took her for me uh, she took her for me when she took the other dogs and um, yeah she did pretty well, I think, for the most part, so that's good, and, uh, yeah, she's been, um, I feel like she's been calmer, too, a little bit. 8.23, and the dogs are outside, just Hope and Sally, um, I usually give them about 10 minutes to sniff outside and use the bathroom if they have to and then I'll call them back in um and I make hope ring the bell every single time even if Sully is going out um like I open the door for him first and then I 
make her ring the bell, which she's getting really, really good at, which I'm really proud because last time we went to the training evaluation, we wore, which was kind of a long time ago, which I'm kind of mad about, I guess, but um, last time we went to the, the talk to these people, we um, were just getting the collar, I think, like, that week or something, or maybe even we just got it yes the day the day after. I'd have to look back at the videos, which is a good thing that we have all these videos. Anyways, but um, now she rings the bell, she goes outside, and she has a few minutes, and then she comes back in, which is good. So I'm hoping that we impress them, honestly, because I like to do that with these with people. So. That's it. You can go to the bathroom. I hope so. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. You want a cookie for that? I think you deserve a cookie. Come on, buddy. Get a cookie. Yeah. Yep, let's get a cookie for you. Let's go. Let's get a cookie, little guy. Come on. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here. And this is what he's getting. Because we'll give more later. I usually like to give treats throughout the day. Because it's fun for me. And it's fun for them. Get it, bud. Good boy. Exhibit two. Hope is outside. I can't seem to get her in because she doesn't want to. I mean, I guess it's okay because I can see her, but I don't know. We have to work on recalls. I guess I'm not like loud enough, I guess, or firm I guess I try to be firm I don't know I don't know but that's what we're going to training for huh yeah been for a few minutes now but this is Maddie and as I said the other day Maddie is like nine ish years old I think and she doesn't really go out I mean she goes out like obviously but you know she just doesn't really like to do things and she heard hope making noise at someone and i'm gonna see if i can get her to go out <laughs> come on Maddie. go ahead go oh. really None of you want to go outside. Now, now, you, now you're just leaving me to get the puppy back inside, huh? I guess? Okay. Oh, hold on. Maddie, you want to go outside? Actually, you know what? I'm gonna lift up your dragon. 
So I'm gonna show you guys how I pick things up off the floor before Hope can get them for me. Um, I use this grabber thing. Um, it's kind of broken because it doesn't like, I don't know, maybe it's not. We've been through a couple of these. And then I just kind of squeeze the thing. Ideally, Hope would be able to pick this up for me, but I have no idea how to teach her to do that. Yeah. Oh, no. Um, because all the videos that I've looked at on how to, um, teach your dog to, like, play fetch and, like, how to teach them to get things and stuff pretty much center around being on the ground and... It hurts my body quite a good bit to be on the ground. So, I got one toy and I'm going to stockpile a couple so that way we can play fetch or try to at least. One, two, Three toys, three toys over here. So I'm gonna put it this way and try to show you how I pick up them. Oh my God, I just totally missed that. So basically what I do is I get the grabber thing, put it over here, and then, oh no, <laughs> oh no, my glasses fell, but actually, this is a good, and it, hey, no, leave it, leave it, Hope, leave it, no, leave it, stop, you've never treated a pair of glasses yet? And I'm not about to have you start today. Leave it. No. See? And she thinks this is totally a game. Nope. Because. Leave it. Hold on. I'm going to. Hey, guys. I'm going to end off the video here because I'm really anxious to get this uploaded for you guys. Um, it's 11.15 right now, and Hope actually goes to the groomer at 3.30, and so we're not really going to be doing much between now and then, and so I'll see y'all later. Thank you for watching. Bye.